Today we are going to do three areas of Botox, well it's botulinum toxin. Now most people have heard of Botox and Botox is a brand so you think of your Marks and Spencers, your Morrisons, your Tesco's, they're all different brands. So Botox is the most world well-known brand but we also have Azulor and Bocachor which are exactly the same prescription, they're made exactly the same, it's just the brand. So today we're using as you know, which is made by Galderma, who make Restylane fillers, um, and that's my preferred one because it works slightly quicker, and it um, yeah, so it takes effect slightly quicker, but it's just you know exactly the same as Botox. So, Botox um, affects the muscle rather than the actual filling in of the skin. Um, so it sometimes gets confused with fillers so fillers we inject underneath the lines and the folds to push them up from underneath Botox stops our movement um, lines so we get the crow's feet when we smile that's a muscle action we get the frown lines because th these muscles are highly active and then um, you get forehead lines because your brows raise up and down so this is this blunts the muscle um, reaction to soften the lines and then the collagen and everything in the skin boosts up and the line diminishes over the next 10 to 14 days. So <laughs> I'm going to get Lizzie to do a real hard frown for me. Ooh, Have you had it one. before Lizzie? That's why it still lasted when you did my, my forehead so when I I can't. And any Botox you would probably have quite prominent lines mm. here. Can you see where the muscle is squashing that middle. I used to but it's uh, yeah it's so this up. helps me mark out exactly where the muscles are squeezing um, and so what we're going to do is sprinkle the uh, about four units per injection site across that what we call the glabella complex which is what causes the frown to just relax it a little bit so if you relax that okay. for me um, so this is a very fine insulin in insulin needle so with fillers it's a slightly bigger needle so we use some num numbing cream for about 20 minutes before we do a procedure but with Botox it's tiny so it's it's not not painful so I'm just literally just gonna go half a needle length and collapse. <laughs> four little units <laughs> and out so it's a really quick quick injection mm -hmm. uh, and then we do two either side of it so frown again for me and relax Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the other side. You've got a good needle technique, technique, haven't you? You're very like in. Yeah, I like oh, to. Where is it? I don't like <laughs> to. Uh, I don't like to prolong the pain. I like to be in and out. One, two, three, four. And there we go. So if that's somebody it. came in for one area, that's all it takes. It's just that quick, because that that's that's this area done. Um, but we're going to do so. But smile. I can see red marks now. They'll go in about 10 to 15 minutes. Three areas separate, um, or the most popular thing is for people to come and have all three areas done in the same session. So if you're crow's feet, you haven't got many. <laughs> we'll do it anyway. Um, so we do three injections along what we call the um, orbicularis. So, so you, around your eye, you've got like a circular muscle that creates all the lines, and sometimes it can create like bunny lines on your nose. To relax, pack to me, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Just do one, two, three. My sister has it. I'm just too scared. Oh, yeah. It doesn't hurt. Well, I'm well, it's, it's actually quite therapeutic. <laughs> and I used to be petrified <laughs> Sorry, needles. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Now I'm more scared in case it goes wrong. Mm. Well, the thing is with Botox, it it takes about 10 to 14 days to kick in and then it lasts the most it will last is about 16 weeks so even if things do go wrong which i have seen over the years because i've seen people go to you know not that i'm i would put any other practitioners down but no, i have no, seen no. people have come to me and gone i've had this done somewhere because it was cheap and what can you do um, so worst case scenario, it will wear off, but sometimes I've got to wait it out. So once you start, you've committed, you've got to carry on. Like... No, no. Oh, yeah, it's probably just locked, that's all, you have to break it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I hired a couple of years off because I was like, oh gosh, there's literally nothing there, is there? I might as well just do it for you. But now, I was going to say, is there any... Yeah, uh, yeah you're going to do it for the migraine yeah, yeah. instead. So normally there would be like loads of lines here, so we'd but do it a little bit lower, but It's for lasted migraine, a long time since Yeah, so for migraine, you, you put it. it in the hairline. So, yeah, well, oh. you'll get a bit of lift from it, but... Why does it, it do to migraine? Um, because migraine, I mean, there's a lot of research about mig migraine, but one school of thought is it is caused by a certain muscle spasm oh. or a mu muscle tension. Okay. Um, so because.